actually went to high school with uh, Mark Zuckerberg, who founded Facebook. And I don't mean to spoil the surprise, but one of us has $10 billion. <laughs> so there's a little part of me that's like, what if I'd just been better friends with him? We could have collaborated. I might have been a co-founder of Facebook. But then I'm like, get real. If I'd been friends with him, I would have affected his life. He wouldn't have done exactly the same things at the same times. He probably never would have even invented Facebook. So it makes me feel better, because I'm like, hey, I made Facebook possible. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I like Facebook a lot. I, I meet some people now who hate it, though, and they always say stuff like, uh, I don't like Facebook because I'm friends with people I don't even know. Uh, yeah, that's your fault. <laughs> that means at some point someone sent you a friend request and you're like, ugh, I hate it when people I don't know add me. Except. <laughs> like, how bad are you at saying no? Were you a kid like, ugh, I hate it when strangers ask me in the van. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> that's that's big distraction. Makes me lazy. I procrastinate way too much. But today I was like, you know what? I should go to the gym. But wait a second. If I wait long enough, I won't have enough time. <laughs> this is a perfect solution. <laughs> well, there was a time when the internet was supposed to make everyone smarter, but it just makes people lazier. Like the other day I was Googling something and it auto-completed to, what is the answer to 100 minus 12? Now the worst part about that is if you just Google 100 minus 12, it gives you the answer. But if you Google what is the answer to 100 minus 12, you'll find that someone has actually posted that question on Yahoo Answers, <laughs> trying to get someone else to solve it for them. Someone else has answered it saying, you're an idiot, just Google it. <laughs> 